All right, guys, welcome on back to TK's Garage. And this is a follow-up video to a video we did recently here on David Stanley on false advertising practices. And uh, David Stanley's doing the same thing that Napleton's doing. And um, we're going to expose it here today in black and white. Before we get into today's video, guys, though, I got to talk about the sponsors here at the channel, and that is Morgan & Morgan Attorneys at Law. If you're looking for a personal injury attorney, you're going to find no firm larger than Morgan & Morgan. They handled over 20 million claims, or 20 million phone calls, I should say, in 2023 alone. That's a lot of phone calls. And they make it exceptionally easy for you to sign up to, uh, to get representation from one of these dandy little smartphones right here. You can do it in eight clicks or less by going to forthepeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. Again, that is forthepeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. And I appreciate them for allowing me to do what I do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the site. And if you remember the review we posted, and uh, I'm going to put that right here really quick so you guys can see it. We have here a 2023 Grand Cherokee El Laredo. You can see that it, I'm guessing, is a demo or used vehicle. It has 1,600 miles on it. They are looking for $36,788. Now, when the last customer came to try to purchase this that posted the review, it was a little bit more. Now, when they went through financing and did all of their different stuff to get the vehicle acquired, you can see that the customer posted in their review that the price changed. Now, and it changed by a lot. They would not allow them to go through their own financing. They wanted them to use their financing, and they were at about a 14% interest rate, just to give you some backstory. Now, the price on this Jeep is $36,788. And what um, we're going to do is um, two different things. I've already called David Stanley to verify the price. Now, Oklahoma law is very specific about if you post a price for sale on the internet and you have it listed as sale price, that is the price that you should be able to walk in with cash and purchase that vehicle that is actually not the sale price david stanley has also tacked on fees which i understand that there's dock fees and all of that other stuff De all dealers charge that crap i get it but uh one of the things that they're doing here is they have the you save fifty two hundred dollars um what they're doing is in order for this to be legal for them to do it they have to have an asterisk with, so right here, this is the sale price, all right? They have to have an asterisk or something here, okay? Now, they do have a disclaimer here that says, current internet advertising must be sent at the time of sale to raise any internet special pricing. We get that. We're not worried about the MSRP or anything like that, but... And you can see here the dock fee is not included. I already knew that from the price up front. Okay, so $499. But um, this vehicle itself, there's nothing in here that says that they don't honor that price. But I've had three separate people call about this Jeep now. So that I had females call because I know that they're looking to get it. Uh, they know that they're going to get exposed, right? But they don't put any asterisks here. So this is what's going to get them in trouble, being that this is also not a brand new vehicle. That vehicle has uh, 1,600 miles on it, and it most likely was a demo. They can't sell it as a new vehicle. It has to be sold as a used vehicle, which puts them under the view of the used car motor vehicle division. Now, the thing that's exceptionally funny to me is this is the same Jeep that the customer wrote their review on that they were trying to purchase. They've now lowered the vehicle in price because they can't sell it, but they're using the sale price to get somebody in the door and then try to charge them astronomical money. They'll try to screw you on your trade, all kinds of other stuff, and um, we exposed it 
here. Now, what I'm going to do is, not on this vehicle, but I'm going to have customers call to get them to confirm on the phone in, in future videos. It won't be anything um, right away or soon, right? I just wanted to be able to get this documented uh, because I spoke to somebody over at the Oklahoma Used Car Motor Vehicle Division, and um, they were shocked that this was happening at David Stanley, and evidently, they, um, they've had to fine and um, slap uh, David Stanley's with uh, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and their used car lot next door multiple times in the last few years. Outside of what other YouTubers might try to tell you about how great they are that live there, um, they suck. <laughs> they absolutely do shady, ridiculous shit. So... In today's video, I wanted to expose that so you could see it for yourself, that some people like to comment, oh, these reviews, people are just writing bad reviews to badmouth David Stanley, as one YouTuber from that area will say, these, these reviews aren't real, they're just trying to badmouth David Stanley, get the, shut, shut up, please shut up, please stop looking stupid, because you look extra dumb, and when the used car motor vehicle division comes after David Stanley, because you're using your platform to try to prop them up, they're probably going to come after you too. That said, um, hopefully, I'm hoping as we continue to do this, that corporate, the people that are over that Midwest City dealership, clean house, make the right decisions, and do what's right. Because here's the thing, if they don't make the right decisions... The money they think they're making by having unscrupulous people run their dealership is going to cost them the money that they're saving or the money they think they're making is going to cost them in fines. And or their license could be suspended. Should be interesting. I did ask the representative from the used car motor vehicle division if they'd be interested in doing a live stream interview. And um, he was interested, especially because... I've met this guy before when another YouTuber that I know down there was getting their license. Interesting. They happened to just pop up one day when I was outside. So um, having the conversation with this gentleman, he thought it was exceptionally interesting. We had a long conversation about a lot of topics outside of David Stanley. It was very, very, very telling, very interesting. And um, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with this David Stanley issue? Because as you can see yourself, the sale price is posted, but it's not the price. And um, I can't wait for somebody from the used car motor vehicle division to walk in there and secret shopper their ass and try to buy that car or another vehicle like that cash. And then they tell them it's a different price so they can slap them with that fat ass fine. Let me know what you guys think of the comment section down below. We're going to keep keeping these scumbags honest. Hit that thumbs up button if you like what I do. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, as always, remember, stay petty, my friends.